Good day, everyone. I am Kyle Anjoka Coley, a CBP student of Mindanao State University, Buog, Sambuanga, Sibugay. And I would like to share with you my speech regarding about pursuing education in the new normal. Better education plays an important role among the individuals since it is the key for all generations of Filipinos to become fully developed and productive members of society. As what Secretary Leonor Briona said, that education has to be humanistic. We should not be producing robots. We have to be humans and produce children who will become adults and those with a very hostile and changing the environment. With this, it has a process of achieving the knowledge, skills, values, beliefs, and moral habits that can help us stimulate our minds into intellectual capacity where it provides a deeper understanding of the world. People need to get a high level of awareness about the importance of the knowledge, especially our country is battling with an uncured rare disease called the novel coronavirus. In this time of pandemic, it is very dangerous for the teachers and students to take risks in having a face-to-face -face classes due to the problem that we are facing right now. However, despite the COVID-19 movement, there are new possibilities in reviving the education system. The students and teachers need to stay at their home as we are practicing to embrace the new catchword called the new normal, in which the education needs to pursue as soon as possible, and the schools should adopt a more holistic approach of digital well-being of the students. Yet, the quarantine protocols are still ongoing as we are living in a new normal. To address this kind of quarantine issues, the Philipp whole Philippines, like in public and private sectors and universities, decides to initiate a blended learning process. In the new normal, all schools will have a blended or purely an online courses because of the COVID-19 movement restrictions. That's why they encourage the students to pursue their continued learning online. And there should be a stronger home and school partnership that can facilitate and more consistent communication and collaboration between the students and the parents. Hence, the parents and guardians need to continue or must be empowered to help of the learning process of the students by introducing them a helpful tips on how they can help their children to learn. In line with this, schooling practices need to be reimagined and reshaped to prevent a possible second outbreak. However, Lessons learn, should be learned during the current school disruption that drive the educators to change their perspectives and practices. Therefore, amidst this pandemic, education is what we really need in reshaping the schooling perspectives and practices that deliberates on what, who, why, and how of education. At this crisis, it's not a hinder for us to learn or to pursue the education because as what Nelson Mandela says that education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Everyone is an eager to learn not just only for ourselves but also for the sake of others' lives. Everything has a purpose, so let's fight and help one another in reshaping our future. Thank you and God bless.